What's up guys, TechSource here with a quick look at Apple's new MacBook Pro that was just announced. This is the 15 inch base model that starts at $19.99. Apple also reduced their Retina MacBook prices by $200, making them just a little more affordable. So the 15 inch base model comes with a Haswell 2.3 GHz quad core Intel i7 processor, 16GB of RAM with 512GB of PCIe flash storage space. The 15 inch Retina display also has a resolution of 2880 by 1800p, which is a monster resolution. It also sports Intel's Iris Pro 5200 integrated graphics card and an Nvidia GeForce GT 750M with 2 gigs of memory. The new MacBooks already come pre-installed with OS X Mavericks, which is Apple's new operating system, and they even upgraded their Wi-Fi to 802.11ac, which is up to three times faster than last gen's model. Overall, the only differences between this version and last gen's is that this model improves the capability of Wi-Fi speeds, overall processing ability, and faster read-write speeds. The design is exactly the same as you can see here, and they even have the same measurements and similar weight. Inside the box you have your usual stuff, the extension for the wall charger which has a different shape plug, the standard wall charger and the usual paperwork which normally includes Apple stickers, warranty, manuals and a microfiber cloth. So with their new Haswell CPUs, the MacBooks get a boost in battery life as well, up to 8 hours of wireless internet surfing, 8 hours of iTunes movie playback, and up to 30 days of standby time. These new models also have upgraded Thunderbolt 2 ports, which is 45% faster than the previous models, making data transfer speeds much faster. One thing I like about the MacBook is their upgraded PCIe base flash storage. The read and write speeds reach peaks of 800 megabytes per second, and I noticed how fast it really is when opening the lid while it's sleeping. The previous model will take around 4-5 to five seconds to boot up while these are instant. Let's take a quick look at the right side of the MacBook. Here you will find your USB 3.0 port, HDMI slot and your SD card reader. And on the opposite side you have your headphone jack, another USB 3, double Thunderbolt 2 slots and your charging connector. So that's it for the quick look at Apple's new MacBook Pro. Overall it's a great laptop, much more powerful than last gen's and the fact that it's more affordable is a bonus. Will you guys consider buying a MacBook Pro now that it's more affordable or would you rather stick with your PC? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure you guys are subscribed for more cool videos and our giveaways which are coming really soon. This is the Tech Source and we'll see you next time.